Hello friends. A small Belgian detective, totally affected in his way of being, seems to be an unlikely hero for mystery and crime stories. But when the writer is one of the greatest writers of all time, the result is a character loved and admired by the entire world. Books, movies, and a legendary TV series are part of the legacy of this extraordinary writer's talent. Let's get to know the series and see how the actors who brought Agatha Christie's universe of characters to life between 1989 and 2013, in Agatha Christie's Poirot, are doing. Dame Agatha Mary Clarissa, Lady Malawan, Or, simply, Agatha Christie, the Queen of Crime. A title she earned as the most significant crime fiction writer of all time. Her 80 detective novels and successful West End theater plays have consecrated her as an immortal writer. Her memorable characters, led by detectives Hercule Poirot and Miss Jane Marple, have been beloved by readers for over 100 years. Belgian detective Hercule Poirot is perhaps her most brilliant creation. He appeared in 33 novels and 54 short stories. In both books and film and TV, Poirot shone in the minds of devotees of the genre. Several actors have brought the character to life. Tony Randall, Albert Finney, Peter Ustinov, Ian Holm, Alfred Molina, David Suchet, Kenneth Branagh, and most recently, John Malkovich. But perhaps the most beloved interpretation by the public is that of Sir David Suchet. After several films, in 1989, it was time for the TV to show Poirot's investigations. The series, Agatha Christie's Poirot, or simply, Poirot, delivered in 70 episodes the adventures narrated in Christie's books and short stories. Agatha Christie's Poirot aired its first episode on January 8, 1989. The adapted text was The Adventure of the Clapham Cook, a short story first published in November 1923. The episode introduced the audience to renowned stage actor David Suchet as Hercule Poirot and, to be his faithful henchman, Captain Hastings, British actor Hugh Fraser, present alongside David for the first eight seasons and returned in the thirteenth and final season. A curious fact about Hugh Fraser, he is the narrator in the audiobook versions of many Christie novels. In a 2015 interview, Fraser said that he would love to return to play Captain Hastings, even though he thinks he has the mental capacity or analytical powers to be a detective. In his own words, I think he would always have to be the sidekick or the associate. He's not the sharpest tool in the box, but his hard deli is in the right place. Well, the truth is, I think we would all like him to play Captain Hastings again, especially alongside David Suchet as Hercule Poirot. Is not it? Well, we can dream at least. But, we might see Hugh soon in the TV series, Unsinkable, an action war drama. And he will not be alone. He will be alongside another, Hercule Poirot, the renowned actor John Malkovich. But the start of Poirot's TV adventure couldn't have been better. David's performance as Poirot was worked on by him long before the cameras turned on. David is the kind of actor who embodies his characters. Even at home, with his own family, he would frequently dress up and play the role of Hercule Poirot. In addition, he read every book and short story in which Poirot appeared and made a file full of documentation of the character. All that eased her transition to the role once filming began. In 40 of the series' 70 episodes, David Suchet and Hugh Fraser act side by side with the British actor Philip Jackson. Jackson was the production chosen to play Chief Inspector Jap. And here we have a beautiful curiosity about him. Philip is the scary guy with the pipe wrench in the famous video for Take On Me, 2005, by Norwegian pop legends Aha. Philip has almost 200 roles as an actor. And among them are 40 episodes in which Inspector Jap follows Poirot and Hastings, always playing the somewhat obtuse police officer, who orbited our genius detective. In 2022, the 74-year-old British actor had achieved his 171st acting credit. He will be in the TV series drama, The Window. In her books, Agatha gave a delightful description of the figure of the Belgian detective Hercule Poirot. Standing at a diminutive 5 feet 4 inches, Perrault's described in writing as having an egg-shaped head, often tilted to one side, and eyes that shine green when he's excited. He dresses very precisely and takes the utmost pride in his appearance. One of the things pointed out by the critics is that David Suchet sought to get as close to the Hercule Poirot inserted by Agatha in the reader's imagination. In addition to adopting a soft Belgian accent, he used some artifices to achieve perfection in his characterization. David is much slimmer than the description of Poirot, so to simulate his overweight physique, he wore body padding and wing collars to make his neck appear fatter. His devotion to the character is such that he once told us a fun fact. To successfully pull off Perot's characteristic walk, he said he imagined clenching a coin in between his butt cheeks. Captain Hastings was not the only one at the Perot's side in his adventures. In his office, Poirot had the help of Miss Lemon, his super-organized secretary. 
Although primarily a stage actor, the beautiful British actress Pauline Moran has played Miss Lemon for 30 episodes throughout the series. Poirot described her as being unbelievably ugly and incredibly efficient. Well, Pauline certainly doesn't fit the first one, and as an actress, she proved to be remarkably efficient in playing Miss Felicity Lemon. That's right, her first name was Felicity. The scenes with Miss Lemon and Poirot are often short, but Pauline has made her one of the fans' most beloved characters. After the end of Poirot, Pauline still worked on the romance drama A Little Chaos in 2014. Unfortunately, Pauline has been far away from their acting career since this time. When the production of the series sought to choose the actor to play Poirot, Agatha Christie's family came into the picture. Dame Agatha Christie's family, who had seen Suchet's performance in the mid-80s BBC series Blot on the Landscape, from 1985, recommended him to play Poirot. But there was a curious detail. It would not be the first time David was in the universe of Agatha Christie's characters. In the 1985 TV movie, 13 at Dinner, one of six films in which legendary actor Peter Ustinov played Hercule Poirot, David played the role of Inspector Chief Jap. Now, David's performance as Poirot is held by many to be superior to Peter's performances. I think it's a good fight, to be sure, just watching the movies and the series. But I think you'll have so much fun that you won't even be thinking about who was better. After a long time in Poirot's life, Miss Lemon is gone. But George remained faithful to Poirot. From the beginning of the series, British actor David Yelland was in the cast of Poirot. Yelland played George for eight episodes only, Hercule Poirot's valet. Despite his short participation in the series, George worked for Poirot for virtually his entire life. Until the episode, Curtain. In the short story The Underdog, he is described as one extremely English-looking person. Tall, cadaverous and unemotional. Recently, Yelland could be seen in the 2020 comedy The Habit of Art. David certainly was the actor who most played Hercule Poirot. There were 70 episodes over 13 seasons aired in 24 years. I believe it was an arduous path but full of good moments. Possibly more for us, the fans. We followed one gratefully the best dramatization of the books by Agatha Christie and her main characters. David Suchet's career is far from the break. Her scheduled work is on the comedy Dinner with Edward, written by Elizabeth Bentley, based on the book by Isabel Vincent. David Suchet appears to have fully embraced that he may only be known worldwide as Hercule Poirot. Some actors try to distance themselves from a long-term television series role. David is not unlike actors like Basil Rathbone as Sherlock Holmes, William Shatner as Captain James Kirk, and others. The item on which we will comment contains spoilers. Skip this section if you haven't seen the TV series or read the Agatha Christie novels. But if you don't care, let's go. David had grown so attached to the character. By this, in the episode Curtain, Perot's Last Case, 2013, he knew shooting his death scene would be emotionally painful. So that the last scene shot would still feature the character alive, he asked that this scene be shot early on the schedule. Agatha Christie's Poirot, or simply, Poirot. Played by David Suchet, it is already a must-have for anyone who enjoys the literary universe of the Queen of Crime. Okay, we're done. But subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the bell to follow our videos. And, if you liked it, leave your like and share. That will help the channel to make more videos like this. Thanks. See you soon people.